my name is Katie. I'm Embellished Nails in Auckland, New Zealand. Welcome to my channel. If you're new to my channel, please take a moment and subscribe. So today's video is something a little bit different. It's not quite nails, but it is nail salon related in the way that each year for my clients, I make little Christmas gifts. So this is just like a little gift that I have made for my clients um, and it has little treats inside. So I'm gonna take you through the uh, process of when we made these and I'm gonna talk about how much a little gift like this costs um, and how well it has been received with clients. So a friend and I sat down and we came across marble mugs. Now it was quite an interesting process and those YouTube videos that make it look super easy, <laughs> there's a lot more that goes into it than watching these pretty YouTube videos. However, they have turned out okay. Um, I have had a few issues and things like sealing the mugs, what to seal them. The mugs are Kmart mugs, so these have costed $1 per mug. The tags are from Spotlight. I bought five packs, it was 10 in a pack. They were $3.99 and 50% off Christmas items. Then I bought a bulk pack of candy canes from Kmart and I think they were, by memory, they were $7. I have put in my Santa bag, I have got cookie times. The cookie time buckets that come each year are $16 per bucket. For 50 mugs, I have used a bucket and a half of cookies. I have made little reindeer noses. So I got this idea actually from a client last year who made me a super awesome handmade gift. So I have used Canva to design my little thing and on the back I have put a lovely little thank you note to my clients showing how much I appreciate them. And of course there are, as they are reindeer noses, there are eight Maltesers and one Jaffa. If you don't know what a Jaffa is, you're obviously not from New Zealand. So they are, um, candy coated chocolates basically and they're quite a New Zealand specialty. So uh, the bags I have picked up from the $2 shop. They have cost me a dollar per 25 bags. So all up each mug has cost me less than $5 per client gift. You could also make this mug for other events throughout the year and just adapt your fillings um, and your tag. So if you want to see how I make these mugs, keep on watching and I'll show you the pros, the cons, the do's, the don'ts on how to make the little marble mug. So as I said, these mugs are from Kmart and we had a bunch of leftover nail polishes that um, I haven't used in a while. For this project, you are going to need an old container, a bunch of nail polishes, something that you want to marble, in this case it is mugs. We also picked up some candles as well. You also want something old that you can lay out on your floor and place your mugs on. We have used a towel but you could use a plastic backing sheet. Essentially what we're doing is dropping our nail polish into our water, letting it disperse and slowly dipping our mugs. It's also handy to have some cotton buds in case there's any little raised areas that you can just gently pat the polish down with. I tried mixing a variety of a lot of polish in this case and then minimal polish. Each polish reacts differently. I found watery polishes had the best consistency to dip with. You also want to make sure that you're cleaning your bowls out quite well in between. As you can see, there's a little bit of polish here that um, was sitting on the bottom of the container and I dipped too far down. You can choose to let it disperse naturally in the water. We found, we played with warm and cold, but in the end it made no difference to us. Or you can use a stick just to move it around. We chose not to in this case. Sometimes you may need to use a stick just to collect the excess around the cup so it doesn't pick up onto the mug. And this is why we use very old containers that we're not too worried about destroying because it really does cling to the bowls afterwards. If you miss an area in the mug, you can just re-dip it in the polish that's remaining in the water. 
We're mostly marbled with one colour but you can use two colours. We found it was a bit easier to marble once with one colour, add your polish in and re-dip once they were dry. We just got better effects that way. I had problems when it came to sealing them. You do want to let them dry overnight. Some people talk about baking them. We just let them dry overnight for 24 hours. I used Mod Podge at first but it just I wasn't happy with the results so I ended up just using an acrylic sealer and that worked quite well for me. To note that the sealer that I used, being an acrylic based sealer, which I will include in the links, isn't dishwasher safe. So making sure that you're going to hand wash your cups, and I just wrote that note on the back for my clients. Received really well by my clients, they absolutely love them, and it was quite fun to make. So let me know if you have a go and make some too.